Hello, sixth graders. Welcome to Big Ideas Math, Section 6.2, Comparing and Ordering Integers Lesson. Pause while you write Section 6.2 Lesson in your math notebook. Pause again while you write today's lesson objective in your math notebook. Today's objective is compare and order integers. Today we'll be starting on page 256 in your math textbook. Example 1, comparing integers on a horizontal number line. We're going to compare 2 and negative 6. So 2 is to the right of negative 6, so 2 is greater than negative 6. So on a horizontal number line, numbers to the right are greater than numbers to the left. On a vertical number line, numbers below are less than numbers above. So example two, comparing integers on a vertical number line, compare negative five and negative three. So negative five is below negative three, so negative five is less than negative three. We're going to skip those for the moment, and we're going to go on to example three, ordering integers. Order negative four, three, zero, negative one, and negative two from least to greatest. So our first job is to graph them all on a number line. So They've done that for us. Here's the number line. Negative 4 is farthest to the left, then negative 2, then negative 1, then 0, then 3. And let's write the integers as they appear on the number line from left to right because left is least and right is greatest. So the order, on, the order from least to greatest is negative 4, negative 2, negative 1, 0, and three.
Moving on to example four, reasoning with integers. A number is greater than negative eight and less than zero. What is the greatest possible integer value of this number? So if it's greater than negative eight and it's less than zero, the number must be to the right of negative eight and to the left of zero on a horizontal number line. So if we look at the number line, here's negative eight and here's zero. So it has to be somewhere in between here. The greatest possible integer value between negative eight and zero is the integer farthest to the right on the number line between these values, which is negative one. So the correct answer is C, negative one. Let's look at the study tip. In example four, you can eliminate choices A and D because negative 10 is to the left of negative eight and two is to the right of zero. So those are not even in our zone. Example five, real life application. The diagram shows the coldest recorded temperatures for several cities in Virginia. Which city has the coldest recorded, recorded temperature? Graph each integer on a vertical number line. So if we look to the left, we'll see the vertical number line. And we see our temperatures graphed. Richmond was negative 12. Roanoke was negative 11. Lynchburg was negative 10. Norfolk was negative three, and Wallops Island was zero. They all sound pretty cold to me, but negative 12 is the lowest on the number line. So Richmond has the coldest recorded temperature. Letter B, has a negative Fahrenheit temperature ever been recorded on Wallops Island? Explain. The coldest recorded temperature on Wallops Island is zero degrees Fahrenheit, which is greater than every negative temperature. So a negative temperature has never been recorded on Wallops Island. So the answer would be no, because zero is not negative. It's just really cold, but it's not negative. Your assignment for this lesson is to complete the on your own problems one through seven, which are shown below. They're also on pages 256 and 257 of your textbook. Show your work and be prepared to share during our next class. Please remember to earn credit for viewing this flipped lesson. You must complete your exit slip, come to our next class prepared with the journal pages or other work from the flipped lesson completed, and be prepared with any work that was assigned in the flipped lesson completed. Be prepared with any questions you have for the teacher and always have a good attitude. We'll see you next time in class.